This recipe is sure to please. I take this recipe everywhere we go where I need to take food, whether it's a potluck dinner, a sports banquet, Easter, this is the dish. Today we are making one of my favorite dishes. It is a meat and cheese casserole. It's super easy to make and the instructions that I'm gonna give you are really flexible. So to start, you want several different kinds of meat. I usually use ground beef, ground sausage, and some cut up chicken. So you can use one pound of each of these, two pounds of each of these, two pounds of one and one pound of another. It doesn't really matter. You just want a lot of meat in this casserole. This recipe is so good. I take it to every party, potluck and family gathering that we go to. So as you start the cooking process, one of the things you wanna do is take out two bricks of cream cheese. Of course, depending on how much meat you're using, I am using at least two pounds of each meat, so I'm gonna use two bricks of cream cheese. If you were using just one pound of each meat, you'd probably want just one brick of cream cheese. So I'm gonna take both of these out of the packages, and then I'm gonna place them in warm water in the sink so they can start softening. So I started by putting two pounds of ground beef in this pot and let it start cooking. And then I'm gonna add this whole two pound tube of sausage. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up some chicken breast and add it to the pot. Just keep stirring it along the way. At this point, you can turn the burner off because you don't really need it to cook anymore. You just need it to stay warm. So go ahead and leave it on the burner, but you can turn it off. Now it's time to add the cream cheese. Let that sit for a few minutes. And you want to add about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. And half a cup of either bacon bits or fresh crumbled bacon. And then if you want to add some spices, this is where you would add them. Sometimes I like to use some red pepper flakes. And then add about a cup of shredded cheese. Stir that up really well and make sure the cheese and the cream cheese are melted. Ignore what's going on over here. I borrowed some of the meat and put it in another pan for dinner. And now you need a casserole dish. And spread it out and make it even. You really can't go wrong with meat and cheese. Now you could either sprinkle shredded cheese on top of this or you can use cheese slices. Just want to cover the top and make it look pretty. And then you can either put some strips of bacon on top or you can sprinkle some bacon bits on it. Now you want to put that in the oven on 350 for about 10 minutes. That 10 minutes is just enough time to clean up the kitchen. So here it is, fresh out of the oven. Meaty, cheesy, bacon, sausage, chicken, beef. Let me know if you make this recipe and like it, and I'll see you next time on The Carnival Revolution.